lockdown has been very difficult for a lot of people across the world. Some people have lost loved ones, others have lost their jobs, people have been furloughed, there's a lot of uncertainty about the future. And some young people who are coming out of university at this time and colleges are thinking, how am I going to find a job in the future? A lot of couples are finding that they are arguing a lot more because of lockdown. I was reading an article that said that the divorce rate is going to spike coming out of a pandemic. And I believe that there are ways to prevent this. Never in our history have we seen an unprecedented time that has forced us all to stay in confined spaces with our loved ones and of course there will be turbulence along the way but there are some things that you can do to ensure that at least you are keeping your mental state very healthy and very clean and conflict free if you feel that you might be feeling a bit mentally depressed or you might be feeling a bit mentally tired and drained to speak to someone if you don't have family members and friends that you can confide in, there are so many helplines available to you to use as a resource. So I've made a very quick list of 11 things that I think that you can do to really enhance and improve your mental state during lockdown. The first one is a social media detox. There are so many things online, both bad and good. There's so much negative news around us because of the situation the world is in at the moment. And so I think it's very important to take a step back from social media every now and then. You know, it means that you will listen to and be confronted with less negative news, but also it's very trying when perhaps you're in a country that is locked down and you are on social media and watching other people in perhaps other countries that aren't necessarily as restricted as your own. So you start to feel very caged and you start to feel very restricted. So it's important to maybe think about taking a social media detox just to get your mind settles just to quiet your mind and get your mind in the right frame the second point is to perhaps think about taking free online courses there's so many institutions across the world that are offering free courses for people who just want to perhaps fill up time or sharpen their skill sets or learn new skill sets this is a better time than any time in our history to take up these courses, improve yourself, improve your skill set. If there's something you've always wanted to do and perhaps work has always gotten in the way, now is a great time to actually take that challenge on and you know give yourself a project, something to do so that you're not completely without activity. The third point, which is something that I've already touched on before now, is make sure you are reaching out to people. Reach out to someone. There will be someone available who's willing to listen to you, who will empathize with what you're going through and perhaps even offer quality advice. Everyone is going through a very difficult time at the moment, but there are people that would be available to help you. So please do reach out to someone. Don't bottle things up and do not keep things within you. Make sure you're speaking to someone who can help you. Another point I wanted to mention specifically to parents is that it's extremely crucial that we open up and we listen to our children. We need to act as a platform for outlet, if you will, for these young children. A lot of children are being bullied online. They're going through mental depressions. They're very uncertain as to what their future might look like. They feel very bored. They feel very lonely. So it's really important that as parents, we are there for our children and even as a family unit as a whole we're there to support the younger ones during this very trying time the fourth thing you could do is outdoor activities biking or exercising i think that would really help you feel a lot healthier and it's also good for your mind when you've exercised you feel better you feel energized and this could be an incredible release outlet for people who feel like they're not really doing much if you're stuck at home working please do think about you know perhaps going out to do some exercise or even in your garden or in your living room just so that you're expending some of that pent-up energy journaling is a fantastic way to collate your thoughts and record them i think a lot of people find journaling to be very helpful it helps you center your thoughts and at least you can look back on this time years to come and think to yourself i actually made it through that situation i was strong enough to make it through the pandemic and so i'm strong enough to make it through whatever it might be that you will face in the future. 
A sixth way to keep your mind healthy and keep your activity level up is finding a new hobby. So perhaps arts, crafts, now is a good time to learn a new skill, to take up a creative project that you've always wanted to do, but perhaps your schedule prior to this lockdown has gotten in the way. So now's a great opportunity to take up those creative projects so that you can keep your mind engaged. Number seven is clean out your space, you know, clean out your head space as well as your physical space. Perhaps take up one room at a time and just clean things out give things to charity sell some things online now is a fantastic time to really declutter which is something that I have been doing for the past few months I've been taking it bit by bit mentally it's a time to really just ensure that you are guarding your heart guarding what comes in and what sort of things you listen to so now might be a good time to get rid of toxic relationships that perhaps you've been struggling with in the past and move forward with your life move forward with a clean slate Start a support group or perhaps join a support group. You might actually have developed a very strong mental capacity during this time. There will be someone in your life who needs your help. Perhaps start a support group for a small group of friends of yours or extend that further. It's entirely up to you. There will be people out there who can do with your support and your mental strength. So if you can pass on some of that energy to them, if you can pass on some of that positivity to them, I'm sure it would be very much appreciated and it will help someone through this journey. Number nine is to fill your mind and fill your heart with things that make you happy. Fill your mind with positive thoughts. Dust off those motivational books that have been on your shelf that you've been looking to read for years now. Put on some motivational videos. Surround yourself with positivity because you draw energy from things like that. That can do wonders for your mind. So make sure that you are surrounding yourself with things that make you happy and people that make you happy. Number 10 is to take walks. Perhaps take walks around your neighborhood, take walks in the park. I started taking walks in the park for an hour every day. And not only has that helped me stay healthy, it's also helped me just take a step back and detach from work. That acted as a time for me to really reflect on things, to pray, to think about the future, and also drum up some positive energy to sustain me through this period. So I'd really encourage you to think about taking walks every day. It not only would keep you healthy, but it helps you also clear out your mind and regroup. Number 11 is perhaps think about changing your eating habits. I know that some people have taken on a project which is to become healthier, to imbibe a healthier lifestyle. So maybe think about changing your diet, maybe having some more fruits and vegetables. Perhaps think about an augmented diet that would ensure that you are staying healthy and if you want to, you're losing weight as well. So that in itself will give you something to focus on. It will give you a challenge. It will also give you a reason to want to do better, want to be better. So I do hope that this video has been helpful. If it has and you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also click that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from me. In the meantime, look after yourself and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.